the scientific process, what you're supposed to do is look at the evidence, develop a theory as to how things work. Then based on that, you project what you think is going to happen next. Then you watch nature, say in the case of global warming, and find out if that actually happens. If it turns out your predictions do not come true, then perhaps your theory is wrong. So you go back to the drawing board and start again. Now I could sit here for hours listing for you every global warming prediction that's been gotten wrong. I don't have that much time. So here now are the top 10 global warming predictions gotten wrong. 10. Number 10 from the UK came this prediction. Within a few years, a scientist said, children just aren't going to know what snow is. Snowfall will be very rare. That according to Dr. David Vinner, senior research scientist at the Climate Research Unit, CRU, East Anglia. But if you ask the people in the UK how much snow they've been getting each winter, well... Nine. Number 9. By 1995, the greenhouse effect will be desolating the heartland of North America and Eurasia with horrific drought causing crop failures and riots. By 1996, the Platte River of Nebraska will be dry. That, according to Michael Oppenheimer, well, I live here in Wyoming. Let me tell you, the Platte River overflowed last year. And these are the mountains surrounding us. In fact, snow caps on those mountains have been increasing over the past few years, not shrinking. Eight. Number eight, Arctic specialist Brent Belkin says, a general warming trend over the North Pole is melting the polar ice cap and may produce an ice-free Arctic Ocean by the year 2000. An ice-free Arctic Ocean by the year 2000. And yet we find that actually ice in the Arctic has been increasing, as has the polar bear population. And in the South Pole, the penguin population has been increasing. Seven. Number seven, using computer models, research conclude that global warming would raise the average annual temperatures nationwide by two degrees by 2010. That according to the Associated Press in 1989. In fact, what you've been told about the global temperature rising and it being some of the hottest years on record turns out to be completely false. It turns out, actually, that the Earth has not warmed for about the past 17 years. By 1985, air pollution will have reduced the amount of sunlight reaching the Earth by half. That according to Life magazine in 1970. Well, it turns out the air quality actually has improved since 1970. Next, if present trends continue, the world will be 11 degrees cooler by the year 2000. That according to E.F. Watt in Earth Day 1970. Remember, before he warned about global warming, this is the same guy that warned about an impending ice age. In the year 1970, also during Earth Day, Mr. Ehrlich says in 10 years, all animal life, sea life, will be extinct. Large areas of the coastline will have to be evacuated because of the stench of dead fish. Well, that was said back in 1970. Ten years have gone by. In fact, we're beyond 1980. We're all the way to 2012 when I'm recording this. Where is that? Once upon a time, there was a two. Number two, Al Gore in his movie Inconvenient Truth, which was shown in pretty much every primary school in the country and came along with a poster of a horrible hurricane on it. Well, hurricanes were supposed to be getting worse over the coming decades. Since Hurricane Katrina, hurricane seasons have been wimpy at best. So now just a few lies from the scientific community. They decided they would start this graph just in 1970. The intention being to show that hurricanes are getting far worse because of global warming. And that's what the paper concluded. So I, being dull and boring and scientific, went and got the rest of the hurricane activity record. 
Um, how many birds can sit on this wire before this song is sung? The answer, my friend, is one. And now my song is done. Now, despite what Al Gore and the global warming crowd have been trying to tell you, fact of the matter is 98% of the scientists out there do not agree, nor do 98% of the climatologists. Fact of the matter is many have abandoned the cause of global warming as their predictions have not come true. Very few scientists are actually left in the global warming crowd supporting their old theories, especially because it's tough to stand there and purport a theory when all of the predictions for that theory have failed.